Located at 1501 East Highland in Muncie, Indiana, stands the Schaefer Chapel African Now American Methodist Episcopal Church. And located on the left side of the main entrance is the historical marker. But this marker reveals a darker side of history. It states structure circa 1893 is Muncie's oldest standing public school building, purchased by church congregation circa 1928, rallying point in August 1930, when bodies of two African-American men lynched at Marion were brought to Muncie for embalming by church's pastor J.E. Johnson, a mortician. Though the story is intriguing, I am left with a significant question. The church was a rallying point for who? Those in support of the lynching, or those protesting the lynching, or both? Only so much text can fit on a marker, so sentences must be condensed, an unfortunate limit. Additionally, text is literally and metaphorically two-dimensional. I cannot see, smell, taste, or touch any remnants of this history, nor can I completely trust this marker without any primary sources. I am left with my imagination to put the pieces together. So besides the historical marker itself, there are no real indications that any event happened here. If anything, it's just a church building in the neighborhood, which is quite normal. But when you go towards the, the west side of the building, towards the back, you actually see that there's a museum here, which brings up the question of what happened here that there needs to be a museum for this chapel. I imagine visitors walk away feeling sober, perhaps realizing that Marion has a darker history than they previously thought. The church locked and the museum closed, we decided to go across the street to see if a neighbor had any comment on the marker. After knocking on a door, a middle-aged African-American man emerged. He said, yes, of course, it was a terrible thing that was done, but I can't think about it every day. I have to let it go. If I were to add any visuals to this marker, I'd want to personify these men that lost their lives. Um, their names were Abraham Smith and um, Thomas Shipp, so I think erecting either memorials for them or having their pictures would be important to making this less detached. Also, having a picture of the lynching from Marion, as it's a very popular postcard image, would also bring more context to what happened. The Indiana Historical Bureau wrote a report on the marker supplying a plethora of information, and it would be beneficial to have this link on the marker so the public can learn more. The text could be revised too. In fact, it could not be proved this building was ever a schoolhouse. Perhaps this should be removed, and more detail can be placed on the events surrounding what exactly occurred in the lynching of Abram Smith and Thomas Shipp. As already mentioned, this marker feels a bit detached and vague, and it most certainly could lead to misinterpretation.